But look at this wig. I'm finna review for y'all. She's packing. And I wish I could share the link, but baby, she's discontinued and she's only $55. Banging 30 inches. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is toddy and today i am bringing you guys a no makeup makeup look as well as the review for this braided wig that i have on first i'm going to start with prep skin i had used my elf toner and my hydration um cream to prep the skin i didn't place any primer on the skin whatsoever and i'm just going in filling in my brows with my um, dip pomade and an angle brush, just slightly going over my natural brows to get my desired shape. And I will be cleaning them up shortly with my concealer. I use the Alme concealer. I normally get mine from Publix, but I believe they also sell them at CVS. This is in the color Deep, the number 600. That matches my skin tone perfectly. And I am just gonna use this flat um, brush to cut and get me the desired um, eyebrow contour that I'm looking for. I like to take my time when I focus on my brows. I know most people nowadays um, have transitioned and they do the brows at the end of the makeup process, but I just like to take my time and do mine first and work the rest of my makeup routine around my brows, if that makes sense. All right, now that the brows are done and cleaned up, here comes the fun part. I'm just concealing my lid with that same concealer um, just to give me a nice um, neutral flat base and I blend this out. With a brush, you can also use a um, sponge or your finger as well to blend this out. It's just important that you try to um, make it as seamless as possible when you are working on your lids and your under eye, and as well as bringing that concealer up into the um, brow arch area. I used a lighter concealer to go over the top of that, and I used my BB cream from Kiss. Most of these products can be found at your local beauty supply or drugstore, and I'm just buffing that in with my Kabuki brush. I know it looks a bit dewy at the time, but it's gonna all come together at the end, I promise. So just slightly going over those brows. We don't wanna mess anything up because we did take our time, put it in at work to get our desired um, arch and look and making sure we touch up that nose in between those brows and those eyes. That way there's no gaps and we haven't missed any parts of the face with the product. I'm gonna use a different brush to blend out this um, concealer. I use um, tones that are just slightly lighter than my skin when focusing on these natural no makeup looks. And I'm just gonna beat this into the skin until it blends in and sort of gives us a melt type of look. I do like um, the dewy makeup look on days where I don't want it to seem heavy. And I'm just gonna go in with my third layer of concealer back to that original Almade 600 shade. And then I believe this might be 500 in um, CoverGirl. I don't even know. I've had that concealer for a long time and there's no label on it. So I'm sorry if I'm misquoting, but you guys see it's just a, a tad bit lighter than my natural skin. Starting with the chin, working that cubic's bow, putting a little bit on that forehead and back into that under eye to get us that finish little gloss that'll bring the light into everything um that we want it to be for a no makeup makeup look i um use very little powder as you can see it's making it matte but as you can see you can't even um notice that 
it's actually leaving powder on my face. It's just taking the shine away and I'm just pressing that into the skin. With this look, there will be absolutely no baking. I'm just pressing the slightest bit of powder and I believe I'm using my um, Benai powder in Topaz, if I am correct. And here I'm taking a flesh tone color. I believe Cognac by Ruby Kisses. It's in the round um, compact from the beauty supply store and just kind of blushing out the whole face going over the perimeter. And I am going to apply the brush. I didn't put any product on the brush. I'm just using what's left over um, for my previous makeup. Um, little on the nose, little highlight, tad bit just to give us some shimmer, some shine, and you gotta bring it through on the cubic bow using a jumbo pencil in darkest brown. And I'm tight lining and water lining at the same time with a black eyeliner. Gotta add my signature moles, two on one side and my three on the other. And then my top chocolate lip, and then I'm gonna line the outside and put a nice mauve grayish tone in the inside. Just bring it all together. These are liquid matte um, lipsticks. So it does take a little while for them to dry down. So it's important that you keep your lips separated because you don't want that color bleeding in to the top lip. And I'm just going in with an overall face setting powder, just pressing it into the skin. And using my setting powder, I'm sorry, my setting spray and the back of a beauty blender to slightly just dab it into the skin ever so slightly. It's not even picking up any product. We're just pushing that setting spray into that foundation to take the shine away and to set the makeup. And I'm putting a little gloss in there to bring the look all together. And there you go. I'm gonna put some lashes on and that's my no makeup makeup look. I had recently washed my hair and corn rolled it back I'm just using some edge control to push those edges back. I was thinking in general that I was gonna do a bald cap to install this wig, but shortly after um, seeing how I didn't have the color caps that I wanted and they didn't come in the mail yet, I just decided to do a um, glueless look with this wig. I'm just working that edge control into my edges. Um, because this is a six by six closure braided unit, I will have some edges left out. So I'm just taking my time to work um, that product in. Here you can see the construction of the cap, a six by six closure. And then there is a netted cap in the back where they use, it looks like a crochet method. And I'm just taking my leftover makeup on my brush to put over um, the closure. So when I place it on my head, it looks as natural and as seamless as possible. I have the wig on my head. I'm just gonna show you guys how I place it. I'm just going to um, let this part run live so you can see specifically how I um, went through the process to getting these baby hairs and edges to look the way that they do.
All right, y'all, once all the lace is cut, make sure you are being extremely delicate when it comes to removing these clips or whatever you have to hold that baby hair back. Um, you guys can see that these twists are in here, but it's not tight and there's no knot at the um, base of this closure. So to prevent frizz and, um, you know, your wig looking worn, earlier than sooner just make sure you take your time and be delicate with it i'm just twisting these baby hairs together and using my um eyebrow razor to cut them shorter to um give them the appearance of a natural length of baby hair that i am going for Here you're gonna see me remove the wig and get rid of this um, cap. It did catch a lot of the oil that was in my hair, hairline and um, stuff like that. So once I apply it to my actual head, I won't have to worry about any buildup or any access in the baby hairs um, due to me not using that cap. Um, and making this wig actually glueless right and i'm going in with my mini flat iron to just back curl my edges um to give me the look that i'm going for i do like the look of the fluffier um curly baby hair so that's what i am attempting to achieve and this hair did take heat very well i'm not sure if um this closure is human hair grade but i'm just uh, going to assume because you honestly don't even see six by six and seven by seven closures out on the market like that and if you do it is going to be a, um a nice little piece of change for those of us who have a smaller head but i'm just using my um edge toothbrush to flush to um flush these uh baby hairs and comb them out just a little bit to see exactly what placement i am going for and everything is looking pretty good there's no glue on this wig thus far and because of the type of twist and um, goddess little strands that are in here i won't be sleeping in this wig this is going to be a pop off put up type of wig just because i do want to make sure i can make it last as long as possible. And I believe I am going to use my even spray and a little bit of the black got to be glue just towards the base of the edges because I don't want them to be too hard and stiff because I don't want this um, wig to be stuck down. And here I'm just going to pull out a little bit of my own edges just so I can make this as seamless as possible and to blend them out um, to match the edges on the wig.
Y'all, can we just take some time to appreciate simplicity? Like, look how nice and natural this looks. And not to mention the makeup coming through the skin, the natural skin shining through the makeup. Y'all, this process does not have to be as tough as a lot of people make it seem like online, especially of those who DIY and try to get ourselves together without breaking the bank and um, depending on others and things of that nature. But y'all can do it. I swear. I, I'm working on it. I'm trying to get better. But if I can do it, I know you guys can do it. Just takes time and a little practice. Like I said, this wig was only $55. And all the makeup used in this video came from the beauty supply store or the drugstore. There is a little bit of too much got to be on um, this part of the hair. So I'm just going to take some paper towel and just dab it off ever so slightly just so it doesn't ruin my makeup and it doesn't get the wig as crunchy as um as I'm not going for so yep I'm just going in touching up these baby hairs doing them like I would do my own if they were out and pulling out my little edge sideburns to get her together Here I'm just dabbing that even spray along the lace and trying to get a little hold on all the hard work that I put in on these edges. But then again, I'm not looking for this to be stuck down as well. I'm just looking for a nice ultimate hold on these baby hairs. But I think I did pretty good. What y'all think? I'm just going to put this... um elastic band over them that way they lay flat and then you're gonna see me um, switch up and put my scarf on because there is a little bulk at the top of this wig um I ain't wore braids in lord knows how long so I'm gonna use my um silk scarf just to kind of help form my wig to my um, natural head shape the older this wig gets, I think that I might um, attempt this again, but I might use a little foam to help um, bring down the puffiness in the top of the wig. Break a bad hoe, I get dressed, boo. The drug dealers outside, where you at, fool? Leave them bad ass kids with your mama, come on. If your baby daddy broke, tell them fuck off your phone.